In this video, we will learn what the Settings tab does for your website. This is an important page, but one that you won't be coming to often once everything is set up. The first section is to set the basic information of your website. The Domain section allows you to set the domain for your website and gives you instructions on how to set up your DNS with your website hosting provider so that you can point your chosen domain name to the appropriate URL. The Ticketing Tunnel feature allows you to switch ticketing platforms or disable your online ticketing in the click of a button. For instance, in the event of an emergency at one of your specific locations, you can temporarily change the ticketing tunnel to none to disable ticketing. This way, your website visitors will still be able to view showtimes but won't be able to book any tickets through your website. Moving on to the Analytics section, first, feel free to ignore the Google Analytics ID as Google recently retired this. Instead, please utilize the Google Analytics 4 ID, which allows you to track your website's performance and stats through Google Analytics. If you're looking to have multiple third-party tags on your website, we recommend that you use Google Tag Manager, so set up your Google Tag Manager account then add your Google Tag Manager ID into your CMS and manage your tracking scripts directly in Google Tag Manager. Click on the subheadings for help on how to set this up. Underneath the Showtimes tab, you will find a section titled Site-Wide Exclusions Based on Attributes. This feature allows you to exclude or hide any showtimes on your website that are linked to certain attributes. For instance, if you want some showtimes to be exclusive for your loyalty members and want these showtimes to appear on a different landing page, you can use this feature to exclude showtimes with the loyalty-only attribute. That way, website visitors who aren't loyalty members would be unable to view these loyalty-exclusive showtimes on your website. The Showtimes filter feature allows you to decide which attributes to include under the filter button for your showtimes. This makes it easier for your audience to find the exact showtimes that they want based on your attributes. The SEO section is where you go to help Google validate you as the owner of the website more details by clicking on the subheading. Finally, the checkbox under the mobile app section allows you to include a promotional banner on your mobile website that will lead users directly to your mobile app or the app store to download your app. Be sure to include the link to your app under the cinema info tab so that the banner can redirect users to the appropriate app. Congrats. You now understand what every feature in the settings tab does for your website. If you have any questions or need any help, including help for the settings tab, don't hesitate to contact our support team for more info.